Alright, so it says, Adolf and Ed are wearing harnesses and are hanging from the ceiling by means of ropes attached to them. Uh, they are face to face and push off against one another. Adolf has a mass of 113 kilograms and Ed has a mass of 68 kilograms. Following the push, Adolf swings upward to a height of 0.65 meters above his starting point. So to what height above his starting point does Ed rise? Okay, well, let, let, let's draw a diagram. Let's draw a quick diagram. So this is, I'm going to draw this before. So they are hanging like this. So they're hanging by a thread. So we have our Adol Adolf here. So I'm going to label this Adolf. Adolf. A for Adolf. So that guy is pushing on Ed. Or they're pushing against each other. So this is Ed. And and when when they push push against each other, they they swing upwards like this. They swing upwards like this. So Adolf maybe look may may maybe like this. So this is Adolf. And it says um Adolf swings upward to a height of 0.65 meters. So that would be that would be 0.65 meters. Okay. And then there's a uh, there's a Ed guy. And then there's a Ed guy. And this guy we don't know how how far this guy goes up by, so we're trying to solve we're trying to solve for this. Let's just call that x, or uh, let's just call this height. Height. That would be better. Okay. So to get started, let's try to represent this in a uh, in a uh, mv equals mv equation. So. We know that m1 is the mass of the Adolf times the velocity of Adolf. Initial, which is zero, plus um, mass of Ed times velocity of Ed initial is equal to is equal to mass of mass of mass of Adolf um, times velocity of uh, Adolf final plus mass of Ed times velocity of Ed final okay alright so which, which ones of these do we know well, we know mass of the adult mass of Adolf is 113 kilograms, and we know that its initial thing is is zero, so that's going to be zero, and uh, Ed's initial thing is zero too, so that uh, this side is going to be zero. So I guess um, if we if we say this, it's going to be negative mass of Ed. So th so this is going to be zero too because velocity is Velocity is zero for this, but then we're gonna have different uh, things for that. So if we subtract mass of Ed and velocity of Ed final from each side, we're gonna get negative mass of Ed times velocity of um, final velocity of Ed is equal to uh, mass of Adolf and his final velocity. Okay, well do we do we know any of the velocities? No. But what 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 we do know is that Adolf swung upward to a height of 0.65 meters. Well, how is that going to help us? Well, we we by energy of conservation, uh, by the conservation of energy, we know that potential energy gets transferred into kinetic energy. So so we know we know potential energy of gravity is equal to tra uh, kinetic energy when it's at the ground. So mg, mgh gets transferred into kinetic energy, mv squared over r, uh, 2, mv squared over 2, and mass cancels out here. So, so let's see, gravity is 9.8, and Adolf's height is 0.65 meters. Well, I mean, we, we after, after, um, this push has has happened. The momentum 
um, the, 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 there's a kinetic there's kinetic energy on the dolph and all of that kinetic energy gets transferred into potential energy and gets transformed into potential energy so we we know that potential energy essentially is equal to kinetic energy to begin with so the final of potential energy is equal to the beginning of kinetic energy that's that's i guess the easiest way to put it so you know that that equals velocity squared times 2 so what what we're solving, solving for is that um the velocity at the moment when Adolf and Ed pushed pushed each other, because that's going to be the vol that's going to be um, the kinetic that's going to be the kinetic energy. This is going to be the velocity when they do that. So if we solve for that, um, let's just add this. So two or multiply this out and solve for v. So two. So we we have nine point eight times 0.65 times 2 so if we multiply each side by 2 we get this and then we, we take the square root of this to solve for um, to solve for to solve for velocity so velocity is equal to that I'm going to store that into V for velocity okay so now we know the velocity for uh, the final velocity after the push so before before the push the velocity was 0 and this is the velocity after the push of, of Adolf. So we have 113 kilograms for mass of Adolf. And the final um, thing is, well, what did we get for that? We got 3.56, 3.5, around 3.57. And we know that it's equal to negative, negative um, mass of E times, times, well, we, we know that, we know that mass of Ed is uh, 68 kilograms. So 68, negative 68 times his velocity his velocity okay so so to solve for his velocity we'll just divide each side by negative 68 so so 113 times 3.57 all divided by negative 68 so and that gives us negative 5.93 and this just mean the, the, the negative just means that the the Ed is just traveling the opposite direction of um, Adolf. So we can we know since we know this we can we can calculate um, the height because all the kinetic energy gets transformed into uh, potential energy as this guy goes as this guy this is Ed as Ed goes up so the trend so the, so the kinetic energy gets transformed into potential energy so for this one mv squared over 2 this gets transformed into mgh and mass cancels out of course and velocity squared is some positive number all over 2 okay so let's just multiply it out and um so actually, let me just show you. So 5.9893. So that squared all over 2 is equal to gravity's 9.8 times the height. And we just divide each side, each side by 9.8, and we get the height. So let's just do that. I'm just going to put this right here. So that's going to equal to, oh, well, this should cancel out. Boop. OK, and height goes there. And that is, I think, a 2. I think that's a 2. So let me write that better. 2. There we go. OK, so let's, let's calculate that using our calculator. So the answer squared all over 9.8. Well, all over the quantity of 9.8 times 2, actually. So. That would be height would be one point one point seven nine or one point eight meters if you round. So let let's just check 
the answer and that's um, that's what I got on, on my web assign. So I guess that's correct. So that's that's how you that's how you solve this problem.